Hi there. If you haven't noticed, your collaboration hub has two distinct areas to upload your digital files. In this short lesson, we won't focus on the how to, but when to use each area. These two areas are called your document request list and your document locker. Let's begin with a quick review of your document request list. You can navigate to it from your task list. In the second step, attach documents. Your request list, if you recall, contains a list of last year's information and provides you a list of documents you need to gather and send to us. With that being said, your document request list is very specific to your tax return. You should upload all files related to your current year's tax return to your document request list. Remember, you can upload a single file or multiple files for each line item. If you don't see a specific line item for your tax document, at the bottom of the document request list, there is a general area you can upload any tax related document and we'll receive it with all the others. Your document request list will be available until we deliver your return for signature. Next, let's quickly talk about your document locker. Navigate to it using the icon on the left panel. You can use your document locker all year round, which means you don't have to wait for tax season to send us something. Upload files that you need us to review. Alternatively, we can also share files with you when you need them. Additionally, you can upload files that you received today that relate to next tax year. This way, you don't have to worry about losing them or locating them at tax time next year. Let's summarize. Both the document request list and the document locker in your collaboration hub are locations you can securely upload files, but that's where the similarities end. So, do you upload files to your document request list or to your document locker? That's a great question. The simple way to determine which location to upload a file is to ask yourself, is this a tax document? If the answer is yes, then you will want to upload the file to the document request list. If the answer is no, you will want to upload the file to the document locker. Otherwise, here are some additional notes. The first thing you will notice is that the file size limit is very different between the two locations. You should always upload larger files to the document locker. Another important distinction between these two is when they are available or accessible and if files are shared one way or two ways. The document request list is only accessible during tax season while we're working on your return. We will only download files when we're ready to start your return. On the other hand, the document locker is accessible all year and the files in the document locker can be shared by you or by us. You can send us a tax notice you received or save a copy of the sale of your house. And if you need a copy of last year's tax return, we can send it to you. At this point, you should have a better understanding on when to upload a file to your document request list and when to upload a file to your document locker. There are two key takeaways. First, if the file relates to your current year's tax return, you want to use the document request list. Second, if you want to collaborate on the file or if we are sending you a file, you want to go to your document locker. If you need more detail on how to use these two options, you can find the related video in the question mark in the bottom right corner of your collaboration hub.